Judge heard evidence against one of the two suspects in the Pinion Pines triple murder case and decided there is enough evidence for Kristen Smith to stand trial for murder. A hearing took place in Indio yesterday. KMIR's Elizabeth Bobian has been leading the way of coverage on this case and brings us the very latest. Witness after witness called by prosecutor Michael Carney as he laid out his case against 25 year old Kristen Smith for the murders of Becky Friedley, her mom Vicki, and her mom's boyfriend John Hayward. Smith's co defendant in the case is being tried separately, but Robert Pape's name was brought up more than once during today's preliminary hearing. Carney says Smith and Pape made plans to hike with Becky Friedley the night of the murders and that two pairs of shoe prints were found at the scene near where the 18 year old's body was found. One had a distinct Vans shoe logo. A pair of Vans shoes was later found during a search of Smith's home. John Hayward was killed by a shotgun blast, and shotguns were found during a search of Smith and Pape's homes. Becky's mom, Vicki, was killed by a gunshot wound to the head. That bullet, consistent with a 40 caliber or 10 millimeter bullet and a 40 caliber gun holster and ammunition, were found in a search of Robert Pape's home, but no 40 caliber gun was found. Now, we've uncovered new information that suggests Robert Pape did own a gun and what his mental state may have been in the months leading up to the murders. Becky called me crying that, that she broke up with him and he gotten kind of weird, bought a gun, was just scaring the hell out of her. Did she mention what kind of gun it was? <sighs> she did, but I can't remember. She did, I know it was a handgun. And she definitely said he was scaring her. It, just the way he was acting. She said he, she didn't want to be around him. She, she was scared of him. Liesel says she was never interviewed by the sheriff's department about this, but we know Pape told investigators he didn't own any guns. Elizabeth Bobian, KMIR News. And we also wanted to speak with family members of Kristen Smith, but it didn't go well. Would you guys comment on today's proceedings at all? Can you comment on the evidence against Kristen? You have anything oh, great? Oh, excuse me. Why did you push into me? Look at that again. Elizabeth Bobian approached them asking for their thoughts on the court hearing when out of nowhere a woman barreled into her. You could see it right there. Now our cameras caught the whole thing as she raised her arm and then rammed her elbow and her body into Elizabeth. The sheriff's department told Elizabeth she could press charges, but she has decided not to do so. Kristen Smith will be back in court on April 9th. Robert Pape's next appearance is April 16th. We will be there in court for both. KMIR News is leading the way on coverage of the Pinion Pines case. Stay with us as the case moves through the courts.